What is the MSE or MARPI expander? What is the relationship between expanding the upper jaw and breathing? Is it painful? Is it surgery? Is it going to disturb our speech or making the eating more difficult? Let's know everything about it in this video. We should note at the beginning that mouth breathing is not normal way to breathe. So once we see mouth breathing, we should refer immediately to specialists to solve this problem, such as ENT, pulmonologist, and orthodontist. And maybe the orthodontist has a major role. The nasal cavity and the maxilla are really connected, so any expansion in the maxilla will lead to enlarging the nasal cavity, and the patient will get more oxygen to breathe, better sleeping quality, and much more uses. And in addition to that, we have more room to the tongue to get far away and less blocking the airway. Once we have small jaws, the tongue and the muscles below the tongue are going to go backward and blocking the airways, making it more narrow. So the patient and the body will try their maximum effort to expand this airway and get more oxygen. And the other goal of expansion, of course, is to provide more space for the teeth to align without any extraction. So it's very important also to know that we have different types of expansion. We have either dental expansion, where we are going only to flare the teeth outward and make more room, then we can align. But this is not healthy way to expand, because if we need big expansion, like more than four millimeters, we are going to move the teeth out of the bone. Then we have risks to make this tooth weaker or to lose this tooth in the future. So it's always better to expand skeletally or to expand the basal bone of the maxilla instead of only flaring out the teeth. After 12 years old for girls and 14 for boys, the mid palatal sutures or the two halves of the maxilla are going to be more mature and it's very difficult to expand them with normal expander. That's why we need screws in the palate to have more anchorage and big resistance in order to expand without surgery. So as you see in those photos, we have expanded for many patients, adult patients older than 40 years or 50 years without surgery simply by placing the MSE within 45 minutes under local anesthesia and the patient goes back to his home without any pain. Sometimes it happens that the patient has severe pain and it's only around 10% of the patient. 10% of the patient has mild or severe pain and in this case it's affordable. Most of patients when they take painkiller get reduced from 10 over 10 to 2 or 3 over 10 and I recommend Maxigesec by experience the best one to relieve the pain after MSE insertion. So we can remove the pain issue from our consideration because of the painkillers. Is it going to disturb our speech? Actually no, because the tongue while speaking is not going to touch the palate where the MSE is placed. So if it will happen, it only will last for a few days and you will be adapted to it. Is it going to disturb our eating? No, actually, but usually while expanding, the occlusion will be changed and the bite will be changed. So you will find some difference only with chewing. Important notice here we have to add is cleaning because the food easily can stuck between the expander and the palate. So this is very important and crucial to use uh, water flows are brushing and all type of cleaning, oral hygiene, mouth washing, etc. in order to avoid any inflammation. I hope that I give comprehensive explanation about the MRP, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. I'll be happy to know them. Thank you so much.